This is Chris. He's got a secret, and it's hidden inside this red bag. Does he hire a private detective to investigate his girlfriends? <laughs> Does he have a court-ordered breathalyzer installed in his car? <laughs> or did he dump an X in the middle of sex? <laughs> we'll open up this bag and a whole lot more coming up on Baggage. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jerry Springer, and welcome to Baggage, where digging up dirty secrets could lead to love. Right now, let's meet our dater. He's a sports coach from Yorktown, New York. Say hello to Chris. Yeah. Hey, Chris, how are you? Very nice to meet you. Hi. So, uh, what are you looking for here? I'm looking for a girl who's ambitious, um, someone who cares about family and friends, um, someone who takes care of themselves, both physically and mentally and spiritually, because that's just... That's important to you, very, very good. Very important. Okay, now, uh, what are your interests? I've been doing ballroom dancing, some ballroom partner dancing. dancing. Ooh. I hear you've, uh, you've been doing, doing some of that yourself. I, uh, well, I try to. Uh, try to. But the public... Would you like to try to? With you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. You're, you're all okay. right. You're all right being the girl, right? Okay, right, go, so go, what go. do I do? All right. I'm gonna hold you here. Yeah, what do I... Hey. Hey. Yes. All right, you're gonna push I, out. Actually... Oh. Okay, what am I doing? I'm just rock back and forth. You pop out this way. You pull this way. There we go, back to back. And you go over, under, and through. Awesome, awesome. That was a lot of fun, don't call me. Okay, okay. All right, well Chris, actually that dancing's gonna do you some good because there are three, and I'm serious, I met them backstage. Beautiful, beautiful women. Sweet, All right? sweet. But they've got some baggage. Okay. So are you ready to meet them now? All right. Let's do it. She's a state technician from Tracy, California. Say hello to Caitlin. Hi, Chris. I enjoy dancing, hanging out with my dog, and getting physical with the right man. Maybe you could be him? <laughs> All right, up next, she's a real estate agent from Dallas, Texas. Give it up for Holly. Hi, Chris. I love shopping, working out, and spending time with my family. So maybe if you're lucky enough, you'll get to meet them. Oh. And finally, she's a teacher from Whittier, California. Let's hear it for Raquel. Hey, Chris. They saved the best for last. I have a passion for fashion. I enjoy painting, and I love going to concerts. Maybe you could take me sometime. Yeah. OK, what did I tell you? Three beautiful women, but each one of them brought in three bags hiding their embarrassing personal issues, and when the bigger bags are open, bigger secrets will be revealed. This way, Chris can find the right woman without wasting any time. Ladies, it is time to show us your smallest piece of baggage. <laughs> Let's start with Caitlin. I'm obsessed with being photographed. Well, she is well developed. <laughs> yeah. It's just kind of like a it's like a vain thing. I mean, photographs are great to capture the memory and all, but I mean, I don't know, it just seems like it might be all more about you than kind of the moment and going out and about and enjoying life instead of kind of documenting it all the time. <laughs> I love to look and feel beautiful. I love when people give me the attention and wouldn't you take pictures of me all day if I were with you? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Holly. I watch reality TV during sex. Yes. Oh, man. If you're watching reality TV and, like, there's other things to watch going on, I mean, where's your attention and, you know? You know, if maybe he was doing a better job and could keep my attention better, I wouldn't have to do that. Oh. Past so. tense. <laughs> <laughs> so we shouldn't have that problem with you, I don't think. But... It's not my business, but where exactly is that TV? <laughs> <laughs> on the ceiling. That's... Well, now we know her position. Anyway, our <laughs> Raquel. I wear my panties two days in a row. I'm just 
think, and I hope I don't get you on the second day. Yeah. <laughs> Jared, she's a beautiful girl. I just would be yeah. concerned about your personal hygiene and all that, you know? I mean, right. you seem like right, you take care I'm of yourself. Right, but I'm clean, so. though. I'm clean. I do the smell check. I'm pretty good. You do the smell check? Oh, man. OK, coming up, the ladies unlock their bigger bags, and Chris locks one of them out. See whose baggage gets busted when we come back. Welcome back to Baggage, where exposing your flaws could be the first step to finding love. Now, earlier we saw the ladies' smallest baggage. We've got Caitlin, who is obsessed with being photographed. Oh. Holly, who watches reality TV during sex. Oh. And Raquel, who wears her panties two days in a row. Oh. Now, Chris, someone has to go, so it's time for the deal break around where we see even bigger baggage. Now, as you can see, all the bags are placed here randomly, and when Chris picks the one he can't handle, well, the woman who claims that particular bag will be shown the door. It is time to expose more baggage. <laughs> bag number one. <laughs> I collect men's used underwear. <laughs> I'd like to help you out, but I'm going commando. <laughs> Bag number two. <laughs> I communicate telepathically with my dog. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> I just email mine. That's my... <laughs> Bag number three. I scan men's testicles in prison all day. I don't know what your hours are, but I wonder when he gets off. <laughs> okay, let's get your concerns here. I scan men's testicles in prison all day. I don't want a girl who's touching other guys' stuff all day long. I don't I want her only touching mine, you know? Yeah. I mean, look, it's a job that someone's got to do, but I'd be concerned about her, her safety. I communicate telepathically with my dog. I mean, I like, I like animals. I like talking, you yeah. know, to my dog in, like, a little high-pitched voice, right? But, uh... <laughs> you do? <laughs> well... I don't know. I mean, if, if she can read dogs' minds, can she read my mind, can she read your mind? I don't know. Well, guy's a dog. She probably can. Oh. <laughs> there you uh... go. I collect men's used underwear. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't really want a girl who's collecting men's underwear or anything of, like, her previous guys, yeah. you know? Now, Chris, which one is your deal breaker? My deal breaker is... I scan men's testicles in prison all day. It's not gonna work. Ladies, please claim your baggage. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Caitlin, if you want to explain. That's not the only thing I scan. I scan hearts, livers, veins and arteries. I'm sorry, Caitlin, but it is time to pack up and go. I guess your testicles aren't ones that I'll be looking at anytime soon. Whoa! But two women remain. There, there. We've got Raquel, who communicates telepathically with her dog, and Holly, who collects men's used underwear. Ladies, <laughs> please join us over on the hot seat. Chris, here's my biggest bag. I love being a sugar mama to young men, and I think you're too old for me anyways. Welcome to Nazi, brought to you by Intellius Day Check, because you shouldn't be in doubt when you go out. Now, Chris, we heard your concerns about their baggage. Let's hear what the ladies have to say. Now, Holly collects men's used underwear. Raquel, what are your thoughts about that? Um, I think that's disgusting. Why would you want history of your ex-boyfriends? I think that's really gross. <laughs> Holly? You know, they're ex-boyfriends, and, and 
some casual guys that'll come over and love them. But I like the way that I look in them, so, you know, I save them. You know, maybe if you come over, I can try them on for you. And where, where do you live? Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, Raquel communicates telepathically with her dog. Holly, what are your thoughts about that? I think it's a little crazy, honestly. Like, who does that? Who can talk to animals? Yeah! yeah. Well, <laughs> I love animals, and me and my dog have a special bond. We connect. Yeah. yeah. And you can, you know what your dog is thinking? Yeah, like when she's hungry, when she's thirsty, you know? When she's sick, under the weather. Yeah. I love her that much. Okay. Uh, ladies, it's time to think fast on your feet, and I'm going to ask each of you a series of questions so Chris can see who's the right woman for him. Let's start with Holly. Holly, please step into the hot spot. <laughs> Give me the first answer that comes to mind, okay? Here we go. Chris is a soccer coach. In relationships, are you more of a striker, a receiver, or a cheerleader? A cheerleader. In what ways are you goal-oriented? I know what I want in life, and I go for it, and I get it. What do you get a kick out of doing when you're alone? Working out. If your life was a reality show, what would it be called? Holly's World. <laughs> show Chris how good you are with your feet when you hit the dance floor. <laughs> okay. I'll be honest, I never noticed your feet, but have a seat. Very good. Well, Chris, what do you think of her answers? I mean, Holly, you're obviously a beautiful woman. I, uh, <clears throat> Holly's world part throws me off a little bit. But, um, but I like that you're a cheerleader, that you're, like, in support of, of it and want to be happy and do good things, you know? That's, that's really important. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Raquel, please step into the hot spot. <laughs> Which part of New York best describes your personality? Park Avenue, Bloomingdale's, or Broadway? Um, Bloomingdale's. What's one physical trait you would change if you could? Uh, my belly button, it's a little off-centered. What's the wildest thing you've done? Dancing on a table. What would you do on your ideal date with Christopher? Maybe like a nice restaurant or something like that. Christopher has no problem admitting he loves musicals. Show him your best jazz moves. <laughs> Very good. Nice. There you go. There you go. Chris, what do you think of her answers? Uh, Raquel, I, I, yeah, I mean, I like a girl who knows how to get down and also likes quiet time at home. That's awesome. And, uh, and you obviously know how to dress yourself Bloomingdale's-wise. And, uh, and imperfections are cute. They're cute. All right. Well, Chris, don't choose your lady just yet because you have no idea what's in Holly and Raquel's biggest baggage, and that could blow your mind. But don't forget, Chris has a big secret hiding in his big red bag. Does he hire a private detective to investigate his girlfriends? Does he have a court-ordered breathalyzer installed in his car? Or did he dump an ex in the middle of sex? One of these is real. Find out the truth when we come back. Chris, a sports coach who's playing the field and looking for love. Now, only two women remain, and they're about to unveil their biggest secret to Chris, who has to make his final decision. Will he choose Holly, who watches TV during sex, then keeps the guy's briefs? Or Raquel, the dog whisperer whose underwear is overdue for a wash? <laughs> Ladies, it is time to show us your biggest piece of baggage. <laughs> Holly. I dumped my fiance with a text message. Ooh. <laughs> if you have the ability to dump a fiance, someone you were gonna spend the rest of your life with, like, let alone just someone you begin dating, like, that's just, I mean, why would I want to invest my time into that? You know, you know I, I moved out to LA and he was still in Dallas and. I just didn't have the heart to do it over the phone, so I sent it in a text. I know, it's terrible, but you know, Chris, if things work out with us, I would, I would do it in person with you. <laughs> Thanks. There you go. There you go. Raquel, please reveal your baggage. 
Jesus. I'm addicted to online shopping, and I'm $50,000 in debt. I mean, Raquel, you're obviously stylish and keep yourself well. I mean, I think you should buy some underwear with it. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, that's a huge thing. If you're taking on a relationship with somebody, it, it can really interfere with, you know, starting a relationship, especially if a relationship's gonna last. You know, I mean, it's not the end of the world of things. You know, it could be worked out, but, I mean, an addiction of one thing can lead to addiction of other things, so it's just a concern. Raquel, what's going on? Um, well, I like designer clothing, um, I like expensive taste, and um, I do online shopping, so it comes and delivers to my house. And don't worry about it, Chris, though I'm paying it off right now, so. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Holly, tell Chris why he should choose you and not Raquel. Um, I think you should choose me because I'm a sweet southern girl. Southern hospitality, for sure. We definitely know how to take care of our men, so you'd be in good hands. And I definitely don't think you need to choose her. She's obviously crazy. She talks to animals. So, and she's in debt. Uh, that's a lot of baggage. Uh, Raquel, you tell Chris why he should choose you and not Holly. Well, I'm a sweet girl. I'm very personal, unlike some people. Um, I like to have a good time, and I would always keep a smile on your face. There you go. Okay, it is time to choose. Will it be Holly, who watches reality TV during sex, collects men's used underwear, and dumped her fiance with a text message? Or will it be Raquel, who wears her panties two days in a row, communicates telepathically with her dog, and is addicted to online shopping and is $50,000 in debt? Actually, I'm a lucky guy to have both these beautiful women here. But, um, <laughs> Ali, I love the uh, Southern hospitality and the home-cooked meals and the family orientation. With the text message and the reality TV, it seems like some of your actions are a little impersonal, so it concerns me a lot for when we're together, if, you know, we're actually going to connect or not. <laughs> and Raquel, you have great style, but you're $50,000 in debt and you talk telepathically to your animals, which can be crazy or can be cool and cute. I'm not sure yet. All right. Well, Chris, it is time to send one of these ladies packing. Holly, you have too much baggage. I'm sorry, Holly, but it is time to pack up and go. That's okay, Chris, because I'm too hot for you anyways. Whoa! But way to go, Raquel and Chris! Don't make any plans just yet, though, because we don't know if Raquel will stay with Chris after seeing his big baggage. Find out when we come back. Welcome back to Baggage. Chris has just chosen the lovely Raquel here for a romantic first date, but the roles are reversed, and now, of course, it is her decision. What's the secret in Chris's big red bag? Does he hire a private detective to investigate his girlfriends? Does he have a court-ordered breathalyzer installed in his car? Or did he dump an ex in the middle of sex? Raquel, of these three possibilities, which would be the toughest one for you to have to accept? The dumping the girlfriend while having sex. Yeah. Yeah. Why? cold and impersonal and Yeah, it's heartless. just rude. Yeah. Who does that? Yeah. So, Chris, please reveal your baggage. Oh! Oh! I dumped an ex in the middle of sex. Chris, what happened? Look, it was a long, volatile relationship. We had been fighting for a while. Here we are being intimate with each other, and she decided to bring it up. It just ruined the mood, and it all the reality of it just came to me, and it just ended it right then and there. Wow. But I've learned my lesson. I think, you know, I don't think that's going to be an issue. All right. Well, Raquel, can you accept Chris's baggage? Well, Chris. I'm gonna accept your baggage. Whoa! Congratulations! Raquel and Chris will enjoy an exhilarating adventure helicopter tour of Los Angeles. 
We'll see you next time. I'm excited that you picked me. Uh, kind of excited to meet your dog as well. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. Okay. We should have fun. Yeah, totally. <laughs>